In this example, we want to find the Maclaurin series for the function sine of x squared. Now, there's a, a couple different ways we can do this. The first way, if we, if we wanted to do it by the definition of a Maclaurin series, is we could actually take a few derivatives of sine x squared. We could plug in 0 and see if we can determine a pattern here over n factorial times x to the n. And we could, we could write it that way. Uh, however, I think we've got a shortcut here because if you notice sine x squared looks a lot like sine x. And so if we can uh, start with the known Maclaurin series for sine x, maybe there's something we can do to manipulate the Maclaurin series for sine x to give us the Maclaurin series for sine x squared. So let, let's not you know do this all the way from scratch. Instead, let's actually start with the Maclaurin series for sine x. And just to remind you, sine x's Maclaurin series was sum from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, times x to the 2n plus 1, over 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, you look at this and you say, well, well Devin, sure, they're close, but they're, they're not the same. Well, I would agree with that, but here's, here's how we would fix this discrepancy. First of all, notice where the difference happens. Uh, the, this, this is for sine of x. We want the Maclaurin series for sine x squared. So really all we're going to do is anywhere that we have an x in the Maclaurin series for sine x, we're going to take this x out and switch it for an x squared. So let, let's see how just the x term will change. Now the minus 1 to the n will not change. The 2n plus 1 factorial will not change. But if we had x squared to the 2n plus 1. That would actually change this expression to x raised to the 2 times 2n plus 1 or 4n plus 2. Because if you recall, a power to a power, you multiplied the, the uh, exponents together. So that's, that's what this little term here at the end is going to be. All right, so what we can write uh, for the Maclaurin series of sine x squared would be sine of x squared would be equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times x to the 4n plus 2 all divided by 2n plus 1 factorial. These guys don't change right here. So I think that was a lot faster. Now, if we had if we had worked it out the long way, if we had actually used the formula for a Maclaurin series and actually went through and did a bunch of derivatives and plugged in zero and looked for the pattern and all that, that sort of thing, we would have come up with this as a final answer. But it's always a good idea to think, do you know the Maclaurin series for somebody who looks almost like your function because you might be able to manipulate its Maclaurin series to get your Maclaurin series.